Introduction and History of IPM At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define Integrated Pest Management Discuss the evolution of Integrated Pest Management Explain the importance of Integrated Pest Management in Agriculture Festival seasons are one of the most important times when relatives visit our houses. It wouldn't be a welcoming sight for the relatives to see our house occupied by pests. In recent times, pests have become a troubling as well as an alarming problem in every household. For instance, ceilings packed with spider webs, rats rattling in the loft, ants marching in search of food from the gaps in the window sills, cockroaches scuttling over kitchen sinks, and so on. Carpets, books, and furnitures have also become victims of the pests in the house. And it gets even worse if you own a garden. To eradicate pests, we initially use small amounts of household insecticides and insect repellents, apply toxic chalk powder, place traps, use electric rackets, apply termite oil, etc. It is also necessary to cover the small holes in doors, cracks near windows and also cover the windows with nets. The surrounding area should also be kept clean to prevent the breeding of insect pests and thus prevent further contamination of the household. By doing so, the number of insects will be substantially reduced without drastically affecting the surrounding environment and also at a low cost. This type of controlling pests is known as pest management. By now, it is evidently clear that controlling pests in a small house requires tedious methods. Imagine the case of a large agricultural field. We require multifold management techniques to protect the crops from insects by maintaining the integration among environmental, biological and chemical procedures, which is collectively known as integrated pest management. Before learning about IPM for crops in detail, let us learn about its history, ancient history. First, terrestrial plants appeared nearly 2,400 million years ago, which was followed by the appearance of insects and Homo sapiens nearly 2,300 million years and 2,200 million years ago respectively. Beginnings of agriculture were seen nearly 10,000 years ago and the first records of insecticides were seen 4,500 years ago. A Greek philosopher Theophrastus wrote about plant diseases of various plants during the period 370-286 BC. Early Eradication of Pests Chinese introduced ants in citrus trees to manage caterpillars nearly 2,300 years ago. Moving forward, a Roman named Cato the Censor proposed oil sprays for pest control nearly 2,200 years ago. Appearance of books and papers devoted entirely to pest control happened in the early 1800s. Age of Discoveries Use of lead arsenate for insect control was discovered in the year 1890. In the year 1901, first successful biological control of a weed, that is, lantana, was implemented in Hawaii, which was followed by the first aircraft spraying of insecticide near Ohio in the year 1921. First area-wide eradication of an insect, Mediterranean fruit fly pest, took place in the year 1929 in Florida. After this came the modern agriculture era. Modern agriculture has been continuously facing pest issues since its inception. It has been attacked by a variety of insects before and after harvest. This in turn affects the total food production, which is essential to meet the demands of growing human population, which cause huge economic loss. It is roughly estimated that about 34% of the overall cultivated crops are damaged due to insect pests. To avoid such losses, integrated pest management was introduced. Famous entomologists in the year 1959 defined integrated pest management as 
applied pest control which combines and integrates the biological and chemical control. The idea of managing pest population was proposed by Geyer and Clark in 1961 who called their concept as protective management which later was shortened as pest management. In the year 1967, Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, also defined pest management as compatible manner in which pest population levels are maintained below those causing economic loss. Council of Environmental Quality, CEQ, accepted the term IPM in the year 1972, which defines IPM as follows. I stands for integrated, that is, harmonious use of multiple methods to control the impact of single pest as well as multiple pests. P stands for pest, any organism that is harmful to humans and crops, including weed or pathogens. And M stands for management, which refers to a set of decisions or rules based on ecological principles, economic, and social consideration. Thus, IPM can be defined as the process of balanced use of cultural, biological, and chemical procedures that are environmentally compatible, economically feasible, and socially acceptable to reduce pest populations to tolerable levels. Some of the importance of IPM are it keeps an ecosystem balanced and healthier. IPM helps an increase of beneficial insects and also helps in decreasing pesticide resistance. It helps in improving profitability. It reduces the risk of crop loss by a pest. It is an economically safe approach. It promotes a healthy environment. IPM is efficiently used in agriculture, horticulture, human habitations, including structural pest management turf pest management and ornamental pest management. Summary Let us do a recap of what we have learned in this lesson. IPM is the integrated approach of maintaining the integration among environmental, biological and chemical procedures to protect the crops from insects. 